my name's Don Turner, uh, Turner's Transport. Um, this is my uh, R200 International. Purchased it in uh, off Skinnier Trucks at Moorbank with a third owner uh, in 1976. Um, original owner from new was Mobile Oil Victoria. Then uh, Lindsay Fox took over Mobile Oil Trucks. Um, and then I purchased the truck with my father at Skenia Trucks at Moorbank. Um, and then from there, it had a V8 Cummins in it originally uh, when we purchased it and a 10 speed Road Ranger. Um, from there, we worked the truck and then progressively built it up. Uh, about 1984, I think it was, I uh, extended the chassis in our backyard house at Fairfield, fitted the sleeper box, uh, purchased a brand new L10 Cummins from Cummins Landsvale at a very dear price of $26,000. <laughs> Everyone said I was mad putting a bad like this in an old truck like this, but I was very passionate about the truck. Uh, put a 15-speed Road Ranger in it. Um, original suspension on it from new was a 6040 page and page pusher. Um, and I worked the truck for several years myself uh, on interstate. Uh, then I, on sold, I sold the truck to a subcontractor, Damien Joseph from um, Sunshine Coast. Then he sold it to another chap um, and it kept running from Sydney to Brisbane for many years. Um, and the second person passed away and his daughter rung me up in the late 90s and said, do you want to buy your truck back? So I purchased the truck back, um, give it a freshen up and uh, have been working it right up to 2008. The bull bar was made by Keith Transport Equipment from Campbelltown. Um, the mirrors on the truck are hand-built, hand-crafted copper and brass mirrors made by Sterling Butchard. They are a very sought-after mirror. The, these mirrors are, the original back on the mirror was glass um, and it used to break with stones. So he designed a cast aluminium back. Um, and then all the, the, the arms are a copper, extruded copper tube, and he's formed them into shape. Um, the joining nuts are all copper uh, threaded, hand built by himself, and the, the brackets on the body are all brass and made all by hand. And these mirrors at the time, I think, were uh, about 500 pound a set. So not many trucks had them, um, but a lot of owner drivers and companies that looked after their trucks always wanted a set of these mirrors. And unfortunately, he does not make them anymore. I've got about four sets, and they're like gold. This episode of Truck Stop TV was brought to you by Vintage Trucks and Commercials Magazine, Australia's own magazine dedicated to preserving our transport heritage. Vintage Trucks and Commercials Magazine. Ask for it at your local news agency today or order online at www.vtcmagazine.com.au. Thank you for watching Truck Stop TV. Please remember to subscribe and see you at the next Truck Stop.